Hi, this is Paresh Gupta from Cisco Systems. In this video series, I am going to explain the slow drain concept and the full feature sets available on Cisco MDS and Nexus switches for detection, automatic recovery and troubleshooting the situation. Traditionally, compute nodes perform reads and writes to direct attached storage using SCSI commands. For better utilization of storage, the disks are moved to a centralized location and compute nodes are connected to them via a high-speed dedicated storage area network or SAN. Fiber channel is the most dominant protocol that provides lossless transport of SCSI commands in a SAN. Let's understand what makes fiber channel lossless. Every device in fiber channel fabric informs its neighbor the number of received buffers it has. The sender, after knowing the buffer capacity of the receiver, does not send more frames that the sender can accept. These received buffers in fiber channel are called buffer to buffer or B2B credits. In this example, the disk informs the fiber channel switch that it has one B2B credit. In response, the fiber channel switch informs the disk that it has three B2B credits. When the disk sends data, it can send first frame, second frame, third frame and it must stop until explicitly acknowledged by the fiber channel switch by receive ready or are ready. At this point, disk can send just one more frame. Combination of B2B credits and are ready between each pair of neighbors provide end-to-end -end lossless fabric. Let's understand it further. In this example, disk 1 is sending frames to server 1 via switch 1 and switch 2. Switches send back are ready when they transmit the frames. Server 1 sends back are ready when it processes the frame. If something goes wrong with server 1 at this point, it cannot process the incoming frames. As a result, no already are sent back to switch 2. This makes the frames to occupy the egress buffers on switch 2, which generates the internal back pressure leading to frames occupying ingress buffers of switch 2. No B2B credits are available with switch 2 and hence it does not send already back to switch 1. In turn, switch 1 cannot transmit any further frames. Hence, the frames start occupying egress buffers on switch 1. This generates an internal back pressure in switch 1, causing the ingress buffers to get consumed. Switch 1 cannot return R ready to disk 1 and hence disk 1 does not transmit any frames out of it. Overall, the R ready and internal back pressure in switches have signaled to disk 1 that all buffers in the fabric are consumed and no further frames should be sent. This is how fiber channel becomes lossless. In the next video, I'll carry forward the concept of B2B credits and are ready to explain this slow drain situation. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.